Hi, this is Peter from Anatomy Zone and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the anatomy of the ossicles of the middle ear. There are three ossicles which bridge the middle ear cleft, attaching laterally to the tympanic membrane and medially to the oval window of the inner ear, the malleus, the incus and the stapes. The malleus derives its name from its hammer shape and it's the first bone in the ossicular chain which attaches to the inner surface of the tympanic membrane. The head of the malleus is this rounded part, which lies in the epitympanic recess superiorly and articulates with the incus via its posterior surface. You can see this facet for articulation with the incus on the posterior surface of the malleolar head on this lateral view. Just below the head, the malleus narrows to form the neck, which lies against the flaccid part of the tympanic membrane. The corda tympani crosses the medial aspect of the malleolar neck. Below the neck of the malleus are the anterior and lateral processes of the malleus. The anterior process attaches to the anterior wall of the tympanic cavity, and the lateral process attaches to the anterior and posterior malleolar folds of the tympanic membrane. The inferior extension of the malleus below the anterior and lateral processes is known as the handle of the malleus, or the manubrium, which attaches to the tympanic membrane along the length of its lateral margin with its tip at the umbo. The incus is the second bone in the ossicular chain, lying between the malleus and the stapes. It is comprised of a body and two limbs. The body articulates with the head of the malleus at the incudomalleolar joint and sits within the epitympanic recess. Here you can see the articular surface of the incus. The long limb extends inferiorly from the body, running in parallel to the handle of the malleus. Distally, it curves medially to articulate with the stapes at the incudostipedial joint via a small ovoid process known as the lenticular process. The short limb extends posteriorly, attaching the incus to the posterior superior wall of the middle ear. The stapes is the smallest of the ossicles and the smallest bone in the human body, and is comprised of a head, a neck, two limbs, and a foot plate. The head of the stapes is concave and articulates with the long limb of the incus via the lenticular process. Just beneath the head is the neck of the stapes, which is connected to the footplate, or base of the stapes, by the anterior and posterior limbs. The base, or stapes footplate, attaches to the oval window on the medial wall of the middle ear. In this diagram, we're looking face on at the cochlear promontory here. This is the oval window superiorly where the footplate of the stapes attaches, and the round window is shown inferiorly here. So that's the anatomy of the ossicles of the middle ear. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.